So do you remember that that fight in the Brown Steelers game, uh, Miles Garrett versus Mason Rudolph? Garrett uh, tears Rudolph's helmet off and and, and smacks him with it. Uh, well, l- let's let's relive the moment just r- really briefly so we can talk about it. Watch this. Well, he tackled Rudolph. Rudolph didn't like the way that he was tackled. Oh, was, gosh. Man. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Yes, memories. The memories. Well, Garrett got suspended indefinitely, at least, uh, at least for the year, if not longer. And that was a week ago that it happened. A week goes by, and the most frustrating thing about what happens next is that it's just so utterly predictable. Just, you, you, you knew it was happening. You knew it was going to happen. We all saw it coming. So Garrett now, Miles Garrett, the aggressor in the situation, the guy that t- tore the helmet off and hit somebody else with it, he now, in an effort to excuse his actions and to deflect blame and to get his suspension overturned or at least uh, minimized, He now says that Mason Rudolph used a racial slur towards him. Of course, right? That's just, of course. Nobody mentioned anything about a racial slur before, but now the claim comes out that, oh, by the way, a week later, but uh, yeah, yeah, he said racial slur, just so you know. First of all, uh, I I think that as people have been talking about this, whether or not it's true or, or whatever, this hasn't been stipulated enough. But even if it was true, okay, even if Mason Rudolph really did call Miles Garrett a racial slur, that would not in any way justify ripping his helmet off and beating him in the head with it. I I would hope we could all agree with that, but apparently we can't. Because people are talking about this issue as if the only thing that matters is whether or not it's true that, he, that Mason Rudolph said that. When really, even if he said it, that doesn't do much to negate the fact that Miles Garrett ripped a guy's head off at him in the head with it and could have caused brain damage or worse. Um, so it's kind of like that. Maybe you saw that video of, uh, it was went viral a few weeks ago, of a, a, a woman, older woman getting body slammed in the parking lot of a Popeye's by a Popeye's employee. And the claim that I saw online is that the woman used a racial slur towards that guy. There was a guy body slamming her. I have no idea if that's true or not. I never looked into that story. doesn't really matter. My point is, people were sharing the video, as, number one, assuming that she used the racial slur, and then number two, assuming that it therefore justifies an, older, an old woman being body slammed on the pavement. Even if she... It's bad if she used the racial slur. That doesn't mean you can body slam her and potentially kill her. I mean, just you, uh, can't we agree with that? That there is no, there is no, no word or insult or anything that could be said that would justify uh, physical assault, especially to the point of potentially killing somebody. You'd hope we could agree with that, but apparently we can't. Second thing, though, there is there is no evidence that uh, Rudolph said any such thing. the The NFL looked into it; they found no evidence. Miles Garrett's own teammates said they never heard it or heard about it until just now. Rudolph's teammates, um, Rudolph's teammates, never heard it or heard about it. So there's a bunch of people around there, you know, while this play is going on. And uh, you, you've got 22 guys on the field. None of them heard it. And it's not just that they didn't hear the slur. It's that Garrett's own teammates, when they pulled Garrett off, brought him to the sideline, laid her in the locker room. He apparently never mentioned this to anybody. He never said, hey, that, that, that guy called me X, Y, Z. You, you'd think he would have, that would have been one of the first things he said, especially when you're, you know, they're in the middle of fighting and he's enraged and you pull him off the guy. Wouldn't he's saying things? Wouldn't he be saying something like he called me this? In fact, Garrett himself was interviewed by the media immediately after it happened, and uh, he didn't say anything about this. He had he's talking to cameras, news cameras. This was after the fact, 
perfect opportunity for him to do some damage control and, uh, and, and say, well, this is what he said to me. Didn't say that. So nobody heard it. Nobody heard Garrett mention it. Garrett himself didn't mention it. And all the cameras and mics all over the field apparently didn't pick it up. Um, plus, there's been no indication that I'm aware of that Rudolph has a history of using that word. He's, he's, he, Rudolph's been playing football for years, has a lot of black teammates. He's been presumably tackled by black players many times throughout his football life, we can assume. Uh, and as far as we know, he's never used a racial slur before. So why would he all of a sudden start using it now? All of these factors just make it impossible to believe, um, or at least very hard to believe. So it seems like we've got a Jussie Smollett in cleats here uh, situation. And I'll tell you this, if Garrett lied about this and slandered the man right after trying to cause, cause brain damage, so first he rips his helmet off and beats him with it, and then later, a week later, lies about it, tries to permanently damage his reputation, then he needs to be sued not just for physical assault, but also for slander. And he also needs to be suspended from the league for another year. So put tack another year on to however long this suspension was supposed to be. Because that's actually worse than the original physical assault. When you think about the long-term damage to someone's career reputation you could do by making something like that up. Thank you for tuning into The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative media outlets in the entire country. If you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to give it a like and a subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.